And right now at 4.30, Biscayne Bay is seeing its worst fish kill in years. Hundreds of fish washing up on shore. Others seem gasping for breath because of all that low oxygen level in the water. And Miami-Dade County says human pollution, it's to blame. And now it's all our responsibility to fix it. Local Tens Christina Vasquez has more on the response effort, a story you saw exclusively first on Local 10. Christina. And there are heartbreaking images just into the newsroom. What you are going to see is some of the fish that beyond gasping for breath, they have now lost their lives as this water, the oxygen levels are dropping. Take a look reports of dead fish on the 18 and 19 and it continued today. This is the most severe fish kill that we've experienced here in Miami since the 2020 fish kill. Marine life under siege. Every organism lives in the water needs oxygen to survive. A bay struggling to breathe. Really low concentrations of oxygen in the water. Take a look at this map. County regulators tell us the bulk of the dead fish are in these two areas circled in red. One is on the Miami Beach side. The other is the Little River uh, side of, of Biscayne Bay. County regulators and FIU researchers working to sample water. We hope to have uh, some more conclusive results in the next few days. The root cause of these fish kills, we have to remember, is pollution. And we would not be having them. Uh, if the bay was not so inundated with pollution. And that's pollution coming from septic tanks, from stormwater runoff, from sewage leaks, and from fertilizer overuse. And researchers say really from all of us and any of us who decide to throw trash into the street, things that end up in the drain. Remember, all of our drains, all of our waterways, all of them surge into Biscayne Bay. So the dirty, the tributaries, the canals and our roadways are, then that stormwater runoff carries all those pollutants and takes it right into Biscayne Bay. That is uh, the simple way and a very complex solution that researchers say you and I and everyone could do something about this right now. And I gave the warning about those images because I know that for some, this issue is quite distressing. Coming up on Local 10 News at 530, we're going to talk a little bit more about what the priority is right now for the county. The thing they say they need to do between this evening and tomorrow to try to mitigate against more fish die off. For now, Point Lafayette, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Bay screaming for help, and we are all responsible. Everything we do on land affects our water. Thank you, Christina.